there were a lot of people shaking up. This is the reason why. A dump truck body that came flying off the truck as rush hour was getting underway on 93 South at the Concord Canterbury town line. The driver of the dump truck was driving with the dump body up. Um, as a result of that, it struck the overpass while it was going underneath it. That upraised lift was clearly visible in the aftermath of the accident. But how that happened remains under investigation. The driver was unaware of how the dump body did uh, become lifted. A black car and pickup were following behind the dump truck and swerved to avoid the debris. Both vehicles ending up in a rear end collision. All three drivers were taken to the hospital as a precaution. Their injuries described as minor, but the delays were anything but. The traffic was at, backed up probably towards Sandsill due to the, um, you know, the highway being shut down. Traffic was diverted off of exit 17, then back onto the highway. Hours after the accident, the highway remained closed as DOT crews inspected the bridge. The repairs are expected to take several days, but it's unclear if one lane of the highway will need to remain closed while those repairs are made. As a result of the crash, one of the beams um, that supports the bridge was bent. State police say the dump truck was headed from Conway to Manchester. The truck is owned by A.J. Coleman out of Conway. State police say the driver will be charged with negligent driving. As you take a look at the DOT crews uh, repairing the uh, bridge work here, we did get some good news. We're told that both lanes of the highway will be able to reopen. Now, state police say they're very interested in talking to anyone who may have seen the dump truck before it hit the bridge. They want to find out how long it was traveling with that dump truck uh, body in the raised position. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.